Hey guys, welcome to part eight. In this video, we're going to look at rendering with both Eevee and Cycles. So first of all, we're going to go to the output tab and change the dimensions of the final size of our render, 1080p squared in this example. And I'm also going to manually adjust the camera so that the diamond fills these dimensions. Now further down the panel, we can select the output format. By default, this is set to PNG. And if I click the folder icon, I can choose where I want to save my render. There's a few different settings for this format, such as color depth and compression. I'm going to remove the compression for a higher quality image, go to render and select render image. Once the rendering is complete, I can go to image and then save as. However, instead of saving this, let's switch over to cycles and see how it looks. Now, instead of rendering this in the same slot, I can go to render and view render. If I make this a little bit bigger now, I can actually switch over to slot two and store my cycles render here. I can then use one and two on the keyboard to switch between slot one and slot two. So with slot two active, let's go to render and render image. Now rendering with cycles takes a lot longer than Eevee, so I've sped this up for your convenience. Once that's done, we can press one and two on the keyboard and compare the EV render versus the cycles render. And then you can save whichever one you like the most. Lastly, I'm going to switch back over to Eevee and that wraps up part eight. And in the last video, we're going to look at adding some animation to the object and the camera. And if you enjoyed this one, you can of course subscribe for more, turn on notifications and I'll see you in part nine.